Hey, what's going on, crew? Welcome back into the $10 million cattle ranch on Western Wilds. That's right, we're making a ton of money on this ranch. As you guys know, we've been pushing over into, well, the cattle business pretty hard. We got both of these, these cattle barns up and running just recently. Well, this this past little bit here. And we're really hoping that this is going to make us some serious bank. We'll see. It's a new, it's a whole new plan. It's a whole new day. And, um... You know, I've got, a, I've got a plan, you guys. We're going to make some good money on this. You guys know, you might have seen the last couple episodes. We're making some good cash off this. And today, we're just going to push the envelope right to the limit and make sure this is going to be our plan of making $10 million in five years. $10 million in five years so far. Well, we've we've been made a million bucks. A little over, I think it is. A little over a million bucks. This cattle barn right here, guys, this one is, well, brand new, really. We just got this one filled just uh, a couple months back, and it's just really starting to produce right now. So we're on top of that. I mean, we've got over in this corner, we've got some cisterns here with some milk in them. This is where we're storing about 100,000 liters of milk in our red barn, of course. And, you know, like, we got to keep on top of this. It's nice to have these large tanks inside each of these barns. Even the blue barn, we got got 100,000 over here as well. And, of course, the main barn, which is back with the original one, it's the same thing. But... We did some rums. Are we going to make more than what we made from our silage? Can we make more money than the amount we've made from our silage? I don't know. We made a ton of money. We made like 15 million bucks off all the silage. And now we're shipping milk everywhere. Is that going to be better off? I I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see, guys. It's But today we're working on this. Like I said, we're unloading all our milk, moving it over to our storage tanks because we fill this up relatively quickly. After every couple every couple days or so, we're moving milk from both these barns all the way back over towards the old side, the original side, the cattle farm. And we need to fill that whole tank system that's up here. So we're filling this tank on up and then we'll see where we get. Now, I haven't done the math on this, on whether it's going to be more profitable, less profitable than our silage. I don't know. It should be able to be sustainable at least. But like every day we got to come here. Watch out, cow, watch out. There we go. And fill this tank up. So... Yeah, there's a lot more busy work in order to keep this farm operating than what we were dealing with silage. I mean, silage was was nice. There was a lot of work with that. Don't get me wrong. It was some big field work. We were out haying. We were out cutting silage every couple months. But now it's every single day we are either feeding cows, we're cleaning cows, or we're milking cows. That is really what it comes down to, and it's just a lot more busy work. Will it end up paying off in the end? I don't know, guys, stick around. We're going to find out together. It should? Maybe? I don't know. What's more profitable, silage or cattle? Silage or milk? Oh, yeah. Another 60,000 liters of milk from the blue barn. Take her back across. Go sell this off. Or not sell it off, but store this for the time being. And then drop it on in again. This is going to be interesting. I'm not sure if we're going to fill this up, but we got other things to do today. Yeah, of course, it's just not cattle. I mean, we have other products we need to supplement the farm other than that. And one of the things was, well, I was thinking about straw and just some general crops, of course, that we made out here. Now, both our canola and on the far side, we should have oat. They're both ready to go, guys. So we're going to have to get into this field and um, we'll start harvesting. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't really thinking I should have done, should have done canola. We shouldn't have bothered, but whatever, we're going to harvest it. I was just worried about straw. So get in our headers out of this, get the old case. The only job our old case does nowadays. It's good to have still. Let's fire this thing up. And open the old garage and pull this right on out. Let's go. Let's get these headers out into the field. Come on, let's go. Easy does it. Like I said, the only job that we do out well with the 1030, the old case open cab. This old, old iron case tractor, guys. It's its only job now. I mean, we're taking it pretty easy on it. But we still gotta get out here and um we got we got some work for it to do. I suppose the trick would probably be better, but whatever. It's still good for moving these headers around. It's something it can do, right? Oh, here we go. Getting the case. Combines out the 92 fitties. Let's go. Easy does it. Get these, these our brand new combines. It's Look at this. Zero hours. New combine smell still. Do you guys smell that? It's still new combine smell. Hey, what's the smell? What smell? What you... The other one's got a couple hours on it, but this is great. This is great. Brand new combines. Of course, we need our mother bin or our, sorry, our, our auger wagon as well. Our grain, uh, our grain wagon as well. Get this thing out here. So we can uh, make things a little bit more efficient. It shouldn't take us too long with two combines out in this field. We'll, it'll be done pretty quickly, I think. All right, fire these combines on up. 
And let's get into the field. You know what? It's been a long time. On, on Western Wilds, we have not done a lot of uh, grain harvesting, of course. I think we might have done two fields, maybe one field. So any chance I get right now to get in here and harvest some grains with the combine feels like completely different and completely op it's great. Especially with these big 9250s. We got the big floaters on these. The upgraded Bauer grain, uh, the tanks, the, the hoppers are upgraded, of course. So we got lots of space here. We'll see how many times we need to uh, to run the grain bin over to them to pick them up, the auger. We'll see if that happens that much. We'll send Gertie up on the far side. We've got Matilda. We're gonna. She's just jumping in with me right now. We're going to send her up on this side, and then uh, I, I'll do some grain transport back and forth here. we got the truck sitting back here. We've got our, uh, our grain tank. We're good to go, guys. We're good to go. Let's go. And Matilda, I think you are ready to rock and roll here. You should be good here, right? Please tell me you're good. Guys, I, I just want to get through these fields. Like, we got other things to do. we got cattle waiting for us. I think they're good, guys. I think they're good. Let's get caught back up with our locker uh, wagon here. Let's see if we can get this Coolman bin up and caught up and start unloading. Please, just, just get the pipe over to me, please. No, 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 no. Don't put it back in. Get Come on. Get it over here. It's okay. It's okay. We got a little bit off her, but not a lot. This, this is the one I, I need to worry about. Gertie on the far side here. She's the one who's pretty much full. Need to run up quickly here and grab what I can get out of her. Come on, easy, easy does it. Just nice and easy. Just give me that pipe. Come on. There we go. And that looks about right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're getting good. We're good. We're good. Good. So this field, like I said, not going to take us too long. We got some 45 foot headers, the Draper headers on these combines. Shouldn't take us too long to get through this canola. And then we'll move right over into the oat. All right, here comes Matilda. She's already done her couple passes as well. She'll be uh, maybe half full. I don't even know. Can't even tell from here. So we'll just take whatever she's got and we'll just keep running the way we are. Things seem to be working out so far. Oh yeah, here we go. Looks good. Oh, 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 oh. Get back on track. There we go. Get, come on, come on. You can, there we go. Oh, I'm a little short. Come on, push further. There we go. All right, so Gulam and Ben, we got, should have enough room. We got half full so far. I think by the time we do our, our laps of this field, they're only about half full. They could probably make another pass before I catch back up. We'll see here because I've got to go unload now anyways. So we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully I can do this nice and quick. And come on. Let's go. Oh, there we go. It should be all right. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's unload all this and get caught back up to them. See, she's going to be spinning around right there. If I time this right, guys, we can just kind of fly through this field. No stopping. No fuss. No muss. Just getting this canola off this field. It should be good. I think we're I think we're making good time on this one. Look at this. It's only like an, it's been like half an hour. It's been half an hour. We had to set things up and we had to get in the field and we're almost done the first field already. This is uh, pretty good timing so far. I think we're going to get through this pretty darn quick. Pretty darn quick. One of the last loads right now. We're going to stop Gertie here in a second. I'm going to send her over to go take care of the hoat. We'll finish off uh, with Matilda in the, uh, the canola here. All right, Gertie, get in there. Go take care of the oat for me while we finish off our canola quickly. Looks good. That there should about do it, guys. Yeah, this field, canola field, is done. So, canola field's done. Like I said, this is just a cash crop. I didn't really think that through, but whatever. We're good. It's fine. This is what I'm talking about. We need the straw from our oat field. This is what I should have been thinking the whole time through. And now, well, at least we're going to get that. We're going to get the money off the oat if we do need it. We still don't have horses, so I don't really have a use for the oat yet, but whatever. We've got a ton of straw, hopefully. I don't know how much this is going to be, guys. Is this going to be enough for all the TMR I'm making from our TMR machine? That's the whole point of us doing the straw. Really, I need to. I need all these fields. I really need to think this through, but we need these fields to all produce straw for us so that we can make more TMR. I do not want to buy straw anymore. We spent $45,000 on straw alone in the last like six months. I gotta quit buying straw. I hate buying straw. All right, canola is off that field. Let's, while we're waiting, we can take the truck back and unload and hopefully dump all of this off into our silo. We'll see if we ever need the money for this. We've got so much money from our silage and from hopefully our milk that maybe we won't even need to ever deal with this. It's just really the straw is where I'm at now. Let's dump, oh, she's full. She is super full. Yeah, 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 come on, spin it around. All right, we're doing it. No rest for the wicked. We've managed to keep everybody moving without stopping right now. And that's kind of the goal so we can move along quickly through today. But Oats coming off the field. Got a couple more passes left to go. And uh, we'll be able to unload everything into our silo and move back to our cattle again. 
let's be honest the cattle's really where i'm at right now we need to get this bailed still of course today but we got rain in the forecast and i was kind of worried we weren't going to get this field off in time but things are looking up right now back over with the truck i managed to time that just perfectly to keep everybody moving moving and grooving and we'll unload this thing look at we got one harvester already pulled off to the side we got our chaser bin ready to rock there and it looks like matilda has got one more pass left to go and she'll be done so let's just open this up drain everything in. oh we got a double dump going even even got the double dump i i kind of planned that out yeah kind of planned that out just a little bit but we got lots of straw looks like we're gonna be good to go here guys perfect let's get our baler we'll grab that with the massey massey's got a few hours on it could use some fuel but i think we can get through yeah i think we're gonna be good we got the massey we got our, our vicon fast baler of course we're not going to be wrapping so it should drop pretty quick in fact this baler might have had an extra little modification you know we're all about the realism ish around here all about the realism all about it so let's get into this field and uh we'll see if we can get the straw off before it rains see if we can get everything bailed up i wouldn't mind just slapping this right into our tmr machine i know i think i think our tmr machine's got room for quite a bit of straw right now let's oh didn't connect our pto that's part of the problem there we go and now it should work a little bit better it's funny it's uh how that affects things <laughs> you wouldn't wouldn't have thought it right all right let's go start making some bales and like i said it's got a slight modification to this baler guys it does uh it likes to pop the bales up pretty quick there we go <laughs> it's working just the way i expected it to you know what it makes it allows us to harvest this field pretty quick for a round baler especially it's kind of funny we've spent so much time in this tractor over the last couple seasons that i'm so used to it but in the last like two or three seasons since we've moved over to the 10 million dollar ranch we haven't had a lot of use for this tractor anymore this tractor doesn't get nearly as much use anymore and it's kind of just sitting there so it's kind of fun to get back into it and just do some straight bailing because this is what we use this thing for pretty much predominantly for the first couple seasons guys and then there we go enough of our straw has been bailed i think uh that looks like a decent amount out there that looks like a decent amount how much is that going to give us for our tmr machine that's really going to be the question of the day isn't it let's get our truck out you know what same system we got our our, our road train road train we're gonna go load this thing on up we're gonna get all the bales on this i think we should be able to fit every single last bale on this system if i can fit through grab all the last couple bales totally totally realistic 100 realism ish right now <laughs> let's go dump these back into our tmr machine i think we should be okay we didn't quite fill the last trailer the last trailer is empty the third trailer's got most of the bales on it so we'll just dump them all in hopefully we can fit everything in here just dump last little bit come on get into the machine please oh, darn it such a pain get in there last bail please one more bail there we go there we go and let's pull forward grab uh, the second trailer like i said three trailers pretty much full of bales and that filled it up so we still had some straw in there but this will at least alleviate me from buying more straw bales we've got hay we got silage we should be good for now clean everything up and uh, guys i think that is going to be it for well, at least harvesting uh, i'm going to get back out here and clean these fields up though everything's done in here cleaned up just the field work now so we'll take the case out we've got lime in our spreader and let's go lime these things get those environmental scores up full of lime don't need to fill this up we fill this up usually i'm pretty good about filling all of these these pieces of apparatus up as we park them over here so both the lime and that solid fertilizer we just fill that up every single time we park it and i don't need to deal with it when we go grab it and i don't have to think about it which is kind of nice so we'll just go in here i'm not going to fertilize though we're just going to lime a lot of the times what i've been doing is following right behind with the fertilizer as well i'm going to lime we've got the uh the vatterstad we've got the seed hawk sorry the seed hawk that does do uh, nitrogen as well so we'll use that to fertilize we're not going to fertilize before we uh we get ready to plant we're just gonna we're just gonna get this field prepped today we can't plant today anyways that's gonna have to happen tomorrow guys so today we're just doing some field prep work and making sure everything is good to go for the next couple of days look at that already uh already done doesn't take much time when you really set your mind to things right oh and then back to, to more cattle work this is my life though guys if we're not doing a little bit of harvesting the harvesting breaks things up but most of my days and nights are spent in the field with our cows i i need to come up with more names for all of our cows i mean we do have like 
1,300 head of cattle now. Just seriously. I live with these cows day in, day out, feeding cows. Oh man, it is, it's becoming a lot. <laughs> Back and forth from the TMR machine, feeding cattle. It's a good thing we can feed them fairly quickly. I need to find a way to make this more efficient and I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. It does work, but man, it's just a lot of back and forth with our cattle. Oh, guys, eat this TMR. Please slow down. No, you're not going to slow down. You're going to make me run back and forth constantly. Okay. You know what? It's funny. The, the larger cattle sheds, not so bad. I mean, once a day. Even the, even the calfing pen, we only got, what, 45 head, if you include the calves over here. Not so bad. We can get through this relatively easily. Once a day, I just have to come by here, drop a little bit of TMR, and they're fine. They're happy. They're not going to complain. Unfortunately, open cattle pasture does not have enough food for what they're doing. I don't know why they just can't eat the grass in the field. I wish I could have done that. That cattle pasture is causing me a little bit of grief. I got to be in there at least twice a day. Twice a day. These guys here, once a day. I come in here first thing in the morning. I feed them. They're happy. Take a look at our milk levels and we go from there. But the open cattle pasture, man, that pasture gives me so much grief. Like here, I am in here every single day, twice a day. First thing in the morning, last thing in the night. Water. Oh, man, TMR. See, this is, all, this is my life, guys. I swear. All I'm doing is feeding cows day in, day out. <sighs> Remember the days when we used to just do silage? Yeah, Pepperidge Farms remembers those days. Pepperidge Farms remembers. Yep. I mean, we've traded our cows, our silage in for cows. Whatever. It's a plan. And we needed something different. We diversify, right? But I mean, look at all these silage bales here. And I could make a cut right now as well and probably double that. I could probably make $5 million today, maybe? If I wanted to go and do the whole cut and maybe not. Anyways, this is my life now. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's just a lot more. I think it's a lot more work. It feels like more work to me. But can it make us more money? That's the question. Guys, I'm just thankful for this TMR machine. I wouldn't want to be using bales right now. All right, let's get back to work. Another month has come and gone. It's time to get back at her, guys. Like I said, planting season's here now. So the fields that we all had harvested, we've prepped everything, right? We're good to go in there. We're taking the quad track out. We're going to go do some uh, some planting. It's planting season. Now, we got the seed hawk. Should be good to go. Let's get this thing fired up. Connect everything on in. Grab that. Grab our hoses. Perfect. And out we go. Now... We are full, guys. Like I said, we put this away absolutely full to the brim. What are we going to do today? Now, I've got three fields out here, technically, that we've made. And now I'm starting to kind of think through my head about what we're going to be doing. Like I said, we're trying to do everything for cattle. So why am I doing these cash crops? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. What is wrong with me? Let's not do that this time. Tell you what. Let's just take uh, some barley. Let's do barley. We'll do barley. And we're going to do it across all three of the fields. I know I've got breaks in the fields. They're, they're well, they're roadways. I think of them as roadways so we can cart, right? So we're going to plant all barley all the time now. Well, not all the time. At least this harvest, this planting season, it's all barley. Yeah, I, I don't, don't just get those heads up. Oh, watch out bushes. Ooh, that's not good for it. But hey, it's fine. It'll be fine. Like I said, all barley all the time across all these three fields. Ooh, this is going to be a little bit interesting in the nitrogen department over on this side here. Let's spin it around, and we'll go all the way back on down. Now, the very first field, guys, I don't think I've planted that field first. I had a different plan for that field, and I think we prepped it beforehand, so it would be good to go once we decided to plant it, and I never did end up planting it. I think I missed that one, where these other two fields, we obviously did canola and oat, and I think I was going to do like beans or something on that first field, never got around to it. But now, once we've had enough time to think about this, how about we just plant one crop? Keep it simple, stupid. Let's not be overly creative here. Let's just get through these fields, plant them all with something that's simple, and we don't need to mess around and unload trailers halfway through a harvest, and it all comes due at the same time. It's, it's a big field. Yeah, I mean, look at it. It's a, it's a big field. But whatever, we've got the equipment now. It's going to be one day per year. We're going to be out here. It'll be fine. It will be fine. And plus then everything's on the same time. Frame. I hate that, to be honest with you. That's one reason I wouldn't want to do this. I don't want to do everything on the same time frame. <sighs> whatever, it's okay. Yeah, now I'm arguing with myself, I know. Anyways, we got 
through this, I think, guys. I, th I was worried about the nitrogen. I was worried about the nitrogen, but I think we're going to be okay. Like, we've gone through one full, uh, one of the full of the, of the, the hoppers of seed. The nitrogen's down a little bit. We've got, what, 10, we'll be down to about 10% on, a little under 10% on our seed totally. It's going to be fine. We're, it looks like we got enough. We only got the last little bit here to, uh, to plant. You know, like I said, I'm not a fan of having the whole field only happen once a year. If I wasn't just focused on cattle, if we weren't so focused on making that $10 million in cattle, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. In fact, I guarantee you I wouldn't be. But our focus has to be on the cows. Because doing the math right now, the mental gymnastics in my head on the amount we've made. I mean, we've made $1 million so far in one year on our cattle. we got to make 10 in 5. I'm not sure how it's going to work out yet. The math still isn't quite there. And we're going to have to talk about that hopefully shortly. All right. Let's go roll this field out as well. Like I said, we might as well make sure we're making the absolute most we can for the straw at least. Uh, I don't know if rolling helps out with our straw. I'm assuming it does because it helps yield should fix that and plus we want that environmental score as well and as well the cattle the milk that also has an environmental score did, did you know that i didn't know that so anyways our cattle our milk has an environmental score as well so we probably should focus and make sure we're maximizing our environmental score wherever we can so we'll roll this field out and make sure we get that as high as we can uh get our yield up as high as we can as well so we get the maximum maximum amount of straw off this so hopefully i no longer ever have to go out and buy straw buying straw is got to be the worst seriously i don't think i've ever had to buy straw before and here we are we just have too many cows i guess and we're not we're not thinking this through enough anyways we'll get through this let's roll this field Ooh, that looks good that's satisfying i like that look at those crisp lines from rolling this field out oh you know what we're not done this either guys this is just the start of our field work we'll get this done today and hopefully by next month we can come back out and we'll spray because it's going to need that as well. We're going to have some weeds. We didn't really have to worry about the weeds with our silage in our hand, which is kind of nice. But I'm thinking obviously with this crop right here, weeds are going to be a thing and we're going to need to deal with them. Well, but whatever. Well, we got time now. We're going into winter. Just managed to take care of all our cows, but we got to roll. And then hopefully next month we can get in here and spray. Should be fine. It'll be fine. All right, September has come and gone. Look at look at the crops out here, guys. October's here. We've already got that barley field, that large barley field we just planted. It's already coming up. Fantastic. So let's finish off what we talked about. I do need to spray that field now. Um, but we took care of our cattle first thing again. Like I said, first thing every single day. Cows, feed, water, check our milk levels every single day. I've got to take care of that. Otherwise, we run into problems and we're going to be losing profit. And that's where I'm focused on. So that's done for the day already. Let's just fill this back up so it's ready to go. We'll be good to go for probably this afternoon because I'll have to feed some more cows in a bit. Let's disconnect the uh, let's disconnect the feed mixer, and we're gonna worry about spraying. We got to go spray that field. Like I said, we got weeds. We got weeds, and nobody nobody likes the weeds in there. So let's go take care of them. We got our spot and spray, our John Deere spot and spray back here. Really gonna cost us next to nothing. Thankfully, if we use like 200 liters of, of uh, herbicide, I'll be impressed. Connect this bad boy on in. Connect our wiring. Is it already connected? Huh. Huh, I guess it's already connected. Do I not have to connect this? I guess not. Oh, well, well if it has to be connected, we'll figure it out in the field. Oh, watch out, for the, watch out for the barn. All right, out in the field. Let's see if this actually works. It didn't allow me to connect properly there. The spot and spray should work we've got everything hooked up properly i think let's turn this thing on and uh we'll see how how well this does i think it's i don't think it needs to be connected there's no hydraulics on this i guess or at least the ones that i can connect no nope, we're good all right spot and spray activated let's go kill some weeds we got a few weeds to kill here you know what whatever one pass this is all going to help out our environmental rating guys and it's going to maximize our profits on both well not only our oat probably give us more straw but also, the milk, because as long as we keep our environmental rating up, it's going to keep giving us extra money when we sell our milk off, which, once again, is looking a little tight right now. I, I mean, I don't want to give you numbers off the top of my head right now. We, I need to sit down and really math this out and figure out if this is going to be possible at all. Are we going to be able to make that $10 million 
in five years. Technically, okay, it's nine million in four years technically now, but who's counting? All right, last little pass here as we climb, finally get through the back of this, this big field. This one's going to be an interesting, this will be a fun one to harvest, actually. It's nice and flat. It's big, it's open, and, uh, well, it's weed-free now, so it's just going to be a big old barley field. That's going to make us some decent decent amount of straw, I think. I think this should be enough. Fingers crossed. I don't, I don't know. I hope it is. I really do. That'll get some fuel on the way back, actually. The old John Deere. We've been uh, running this thing a little ragged. There we go. And I think we can put this all away now. I think we're good. Back to cows. Back to cows. Back to... You know what? I'd rather clean things than deal with cows right now. Not gonna lie. I'm getting a little sick of dealing with the cattle. So let's keep on just um, finding some other... Can I procrastinate anymore? Can I... Is there anything else that I can clean? Man, is there anything else I can do? <laughs> Get back to work! Oh, there's so much feeding. So much feeding. Never mind. I guess it's time we get back to feeding. What can I say? Yep, back into the cow barn. Back to feeding again, holy. All right guys, so there's a bit of a problem I didn't tell you guys about. Back in January, prices for milk were probably the best they've been, but I thought I could wait out and wait for a great demand. I, I missed my timing and I needed to buy another tank that you just saw behind us there that's gonna supplement because we don't have enough room. And also, I don't want to drive with this truck, so I bought something new. I bought something new and better. Yeah, that's right. We've got a TLX with a brand new milk tanker on the back of this. A milk cistern, milk tank. I don't know. Anyways, it's uh, a new technology. It's still realistic-ish. It's just, um, it holds like four times more than uh, our current setup, which is going to help us transport our, all our milk to, uh, to the sale because... I'm not doing it with the other one that's going to take me about 20 trips back and forth. This one is still going to take a number of trips, but it's a little bit more reasonable. You know what? It's new technology, guys. I'd explain all how it works, but it's really confusing. You don't want to, you don't want them to know the science behind it. It just does it. It holds a, a, like 250,000 liters of, uh, of milk over six. So it's like four or five times more, maybe almost six. Anyways, don't worry about it. It just does a great thing. And this new technology is awesome. I don't know how it compresses liquid, but it does it. So don't worry about it. All the way back out, it's time to get to sale. Like I said, I missed my window on the best sale time for the milk, and I actually ended up having to buy another whole storage tank for it. Wasn't thinking that through. I mean, we're still making good money, but it's roughly like four to five hundred dollars less per thousand liters right now than what it was when it was at its high price. Now, the reason why I thought it was like this, I'm don't get me wrong. Oh, that's good money. Don't get me wrong, I had a plan that it was going to make it back up to whatever the, the number was. I can't remember how much it was off the top of my head now. It was like 2,400 liters per thousand. I thought it would make it back up to that again come the high price of the year, and it just didn't do it. And I thought maybe, maybe I'll get lucky. I'll wait one more month. I'll get lucky with a high demand. And that didn't happen either. So instead, I'm losing money now when I'm trying to sell my milk off by comparison to what I would have had back in whatever. It is what it is. You know what? It's too late. You can't complain now, can you? You made a mistake and you got to fix it. And the, you know what? I, I bought the TLX. It's kind of helping me cope with my anger now. It's We got a brand new nice looking truck. We got a new trailer. Eh, not bad. So let's see what we get out of this. I think that is the last of our milk, guys. This is it right here. This is the end of it. Oh, boy. Survey says. Survey says. You know what? We didn't do too bad. If the math in my head looks, looks like we did roughly 3.5 million dollars total 3.5 after selling some cattle we sold off a little bit of cattle there we go that's the end right there 3.5 million ish total we made from our milk and our cows this this past year so we've got three more years left we have roughly six million bucks to make we should be able to do it the math makes sense we can make our goal of 10 million in five years with milk cool well Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. And you know what? Of course, go check out maybe the first episode. If you're new around here and you haven't seen what's going on in Western Wilds, how we got to this point, click the card. Go check out the episode one. And uh, folks, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.